Welcome to the Emily Carr University of Art and Design Library Orientation Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will explore the various types of resources and services offered by the Emily Carr University Library. Let me highlight some important features by starting with the right navigation panel. About the Library tab should be your first stop if you want to find out when the library is open, how to borrow or renew items, how to book meeting or study room spaces, and how to organize exhibitions in the library. Services tab is your direct route to detailed information on borrowing items from other BC post-secondary institutions through interlibrary loan or reciprocal borrowing. You can also find out the different reference services offered by the library online, by email, over the phone, and in person. Collections tab is one of the most extensive sections that covers a wide range of library resources. What's New tab connects you to the new items received by the library. Recommendations section is where you can read your peer and colleagues' reflections on the library and find out about unique resources. You can also learn about the various collections available at the library. Artist book section is well worth your time exploring in greater detail. It provides an overview of the collection and its highlights, it also provides information on how to search artist books in the library catalog, as well as how to browse the collection. A great list of online resources is also provided at the end. Research Guides tab is most helpful when you're conducting research for an assignment. It covers critical and cultural studies, including art history, where you can find subject-specific research guides such as Art History 103. Design, Media, Visual Arts, and Sustainability. Each research guide gives you a variety of suggestions to start of your research. Let's take a look at one of them. Under the Design tab, select your specific discipline. For example, Communication Design. Then choose Books and DVDs. This section provides you with some call numbers to facilitate shelf browsing. Also, Particular subject headings have been selected to help you browse the catalog. There is also a list of some suggested titles, as well as films to help you proceed with your research. Each research guide is unique and is designed to meet your specific academic needs, so make sure you take advantage of these excellent resources. In addition to addressing your research needs, the library has also developed citation guides. These provide links to MLA citation and APA citation formats to help you in your writing process. There is also a helpful section on Zotero, an innovative citation management tool that will help you organize, annotate, and share your research findings quickly and effectively. The Copyright tab tries to answer all your questions with regard to this complex issue, including a variety of formats such as text, audio, video and DVD, as well as digital images. The Contact the Library tab gives you an overview of library services, it also provides a link to Library's tab directory, and a feedback form. Now let's take a look at Library Hotlinks. This is a quick way to access some of the most commonly used navigation features. Ask a librarian what's new and library hours are shortcuts to previously mentioned sections. Renew Online lets you quickly renew borrowed library materials. The Writing Center tab takes you to the Writing Center website where you can get assistance with improving your reading, writing, critical thinking and research skills. Library catalog, journals, and databases are here to help you with your research needs. The library catalog will take you directly to the search page. Here you can explore a variety of search strategies. If you're in a rush, you might want to type in your search terms directly into catalog search bar. You can later refine your search using the facets on the left. Journals tab lets you search alphabetically by title, by publication subject, or by a related course. 
databases tab lets you search for databases which will guide you to appropriate articles and journals by subject area alphabetically by title or by keyword Finally, the Ask Away widget is available for you at the point of need so that you can speak to a knowledgeable librarian wherever you are. This brings our library orientation tutorial to an end. Please watch our next tutorial to learn about how to effectively search the library catalog.